Hey viewers, it's Tuesday, the 8th of April, and it's the 8th day of Vlog Every Day in April, which is what VETA stands for. And thanks for watching if you've watched along so far. I literally just remembered that I still have to edit yesterday's video and upload it today, and then edit this one and get it ready to upload tomorrow, and it's Tuesday so I have to do my Pagan Perspective video, because I was way too tired to do it last night. I don't know. I just decided to do some introverted type things yesterday, and I was really tired, so I went to bed early. I didn't do my video last night, so I woke up early this morning and did my research for it and, like, did my script and got my notes together for it this morning before work, and I didn't feel well this morning either. So then I went to work, started feeling a little better, just got home from work. Now I have to record my Pagan Perspective video and then edit it and upload it. So then I have to edit and upload yesterday's VETA, and then I'll do today's for tomorrow. Because, you know, you see them the day after they happen, obviously. Um, other thing, after work today, I went to the library to pick up Fahrenheit 451, because, as I mentioned in previous videos, my friend and I are going to read it together. And I had said, oh, I'll stop by the local library that's right across from where I work, um, because it's convenient. And I was like, if they have it there, and my friend was like, uh, it'd be really kind of ironic if they didn't have it, because it's a book about banned books. So I went to the library today, looked it up on the system, they don't have it. And I don't mean that it's checked out, I mean the local library in the town where I work doesn't have this book. They don't own a copy of Fahrenheit 451. How ridiculous is that? And then because it's in the Cleveland library system, it's like, oh, this town that's 45 minutes away has it, and this town that's an hour away has it, and all the major libraries in Cleveland have multiple copies of it, so I could get it sent there, but our library doesn't have it. And then the thing is, the two neighboring towns, the town where I live now and the town where I grew up, that are neighboring the town where I work, they are in a different library system, in the same one, but different from the town where I work. So I remember when I was younger, all of the towns in the area were in the same library system and you could use your same library card everywhere, and then everyone was really kind of upset when the the town where I work now moved to a different library system because we were like, you know, we live five minutes between, like, you know, they're eight minutes apart or something, and now we have to get a different library card for the other library that we go to because they moved to a different system. So everyone was like, oh, this is so stupid. So now I think it's stupid again because now I have to go to one of the other libraries that's local to see if they have it in that system. And I'm sure, like, the town where I live, the library here probably has it. I just don't have time today to do it because I had to come home and start editing videos. So I'm going to go tomorrow after work, or tomorrow before work, if they're open in the morning, uh, to the local library. It's, it's still just down the street, but it's not, like, across from where I work, you know? It's not as convenient. But, ugh, what? Like, a library not having Fahrenheit 451. What? It's in the same library system as my friend's library. He lives like an hour and a half away. He's in the same library system. And so it showed up on the screen that his library has like multiple copies of this book. This one, our library, not a one. Not a one. So ridiculous. Um, all right, well, I'm getting ready to record the Pagan Perspective video. So I think that's all I have to say for today. Oh, I have been working on more Etsy stuff. Maybe today, if I think about it, I'll try to post some of the things that I that I know that I have ready, and I'll try to figure out the shipping for those, because that's the reason I took everything down and I'm redoing my Etsy, is because I want to make sure the shipping is correct. And I might try to add in the cost of tracking information so that I can have tracking on everything, because so far I've been doing it the least expensive way possible, which is to ship first class with no tracking or insurance or anything. But it's like a dollar and something extra, so I'm thinking I might just do that automatically. I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, okay, that's Tuesday. I can't think of anything else to say. I'm really tired. I'm, ugh, it's catching up with me. I woke up this morning with this eye being really dry and stingy and awful and watery and just bleh took me forever to fall back asleep because it's so dry in my house when I have the heater on because I'm cold all the time. So, yeah. Anyways, 
And no, I don't have a humidifier because I know someone's going to say that. I should get one. I used to use my cousin's when I was at my grandma's house, but I don't have my own. Okay, video done for the day. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye.